custody dispute and welfare check in Curtis Bay leads police to the discovery of an unresponsive team. And police are calling his death suspicious after a bizarre chain of events involving his stepfather, who was a Baltimore City police officer. WMER 2 News' Dave, Dave Detling outside Anne Arundel County Police Headquarters. Dave, a lots of twists and turns with this story, and it sounds like the stepfather misled police early on. Yeah, he wasn't exactly truthful when investigators showed up on scene. In fact, we learned that officers were on scene for about an hour before they were able to go inside where they eventually found the teen who was unresponsive. And sadly, this story shows that this custody dispute ended in tragedy. This is a huge shock and I don't know what happened behind their closed door. Neighbors on Stony Point Way in Curtis Bay are puzzled over the suspicious death of a 15 year old who they identified as DJ. His unresponsive body was found during a welfare check at his stepfather's home Tuesday. That check was initiated by the teen's mom who was there to pick him up. I heard the mom crying and that cry that I heard, instinctually I knew a mom, something had happened to her kids. The teen's stepfather is a Baltimore City police officer. His name, Eric Glenn Banks. Banks reportedly lied to investigators on scene, saying the teen had left, leaving his belongings behind, when in reality, the 15-year-old's body was upstairs. There are some accounts that, uh, that were given that, that doesn't seem to be consistent. Uh, but again, that's, that's part of an investigation. Anne Arundel County Police isn't saying if Banks is a suspect, but he was arrested on scene. They say he became combative after the teen's body was found. At one point, he tried to disarm an officer. I can't say what was in uh, Mr. Banks' mind. I, I don't know what was in his mind, unfortunately. It's a very unfortunate situation. BPD has since suspended Banks. We're learning he previously had been suspended for a domestic incident. I'm not privileged to comment about what the previous incident was about, but it was an incident that required us to suspend the officer. Uh, and now he's suspended without pay pending the outcome of the Anne Arundel County investigation. As for DJ, neighbors described him as respectful. Tonight, their hearts are heavy. I just feel really sad for the family and I hope that, you know, people pray for them and thoughts are with them. And tonight, the medical examiner is working to figure out the exact cause of death for that teen. Meantime, if you have any information, you are urged to give Anne Arundel County Police a call. Reporting live, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News. All right, Dave, thank